I've been peeps. I'm just checking in really quickly to um, show you something because my cake sponsor has dropped me off a delivery. So I'm going to show you. It looks great. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, no. Big in it. Put more walnuts in this time. Fuck me, it looks great. Trial run. Let's see if I'm going to go into 2017 with a bird. It's <laughs> <laughs> a verdict. I think it's better than the last one. Is it? I think it is, man. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's great. Verdict. That's great. <laughs> that is ideal. They're great. They're alright. But they're better. How is it? Great. Great. So do you great. Don't get them if you're uh, trying to cut. Because the Moorish. Oh man! That's a disaster. For fuck's sake. Put that down. <laughs> Orange gym. It's all orange. Somewhere in Leicester. It's like a pretend gym. It's like a North Korea gym. You know, like no one actually trains it except uh, I don't know, it's like a show gym or something. But we're doing bulk powders, uh, video shoot. Uh, that's why I'm head towing bulk powders gear. The genius behind the Gymshark videos over here, Noel Mac, on video. So just doing general bits.
That is sick, man. That one in. What this is going to be is an in-depth review on the Peasant Cam, aka the No Pro, aka Aldi's own version of a GoPro that's only 50 fucking quid. So this is the uh, item in question, right? And basically I included a clip in my last video of me going to buy it. And a few people said, oh, what's it like? Can we do a bit of a review, all that kind of shit. So I thought, yeah, I will provide a review because obviously people want to know. And the verdict is, it's complete wank. Don't buy it. So let me show you this. A mini SD card is supposed to click into place when you press it in. And I'm pressing it in as much as it'll possibly go. Like, that's, that's as deep as a human nail can get it. And it just doesn't click into place. So, I've actually switched it on, holding the memory card in and like filmed the clip because that's, that's the only way you can possibly do it, but obviously you can't fucking do that because what if you want to attach it to your fucking head or something, you can't always be holding it, that, that's the point. Uh, and so, obviously this isn't going to be a problem with all of them. You may buy one and it's not faulty, like, but also when you, when you turn it on, the actual screen quality. Oh, let me show you the screen quality. Yeah, so I'm recording, so you can see like it. Uh, you probably can't see actually there, but anyway, the screen. Watch when I when I take my finger off the memory card out, it shuts off. Anyway, this the resolution on the screen is like le legit Nokia 3310 vibes. Snake one, mate. Like I was saying, that might not be. A common fault. I don't know how, you know, rare it is or whatever. But it's just something I can't be asked with, man. What, what, you know? It's just not ideal, is it? It's not what you want. So my options were take it back and exchange it, which I think isn't really an option because the last time I was in that Aldi, I had a quick look and they didn't have any. Or send it off to the manufacturer and get it repaired. But the guy on the phone said I won't get it back until like halfway through January. Or just get a fucking refund. So what I'm gonna do is get a refund, learn a lesson, not to be a cheap gun, and at some point I'll buy like a genuine GoPro, or maybe not quite a genuine, but like a, a less peasanty one. Man, like what's the next step? Oh, you must be a, there must be like good GoPro alternatives that, you know, on peasant budget. These rips aren't even rips, man. They're not even meant to be there. Buy everything, gives a quid. Right, anyway, that's the fucking, that's the, the no pro review with Joey D. So, see you next time for in-depth reviews on wank shit, because I'm a peasant. See all anal beads. Yo, peeps. How's it going? It's a great motherfucking day. You know why? Because we woke up. We woke up this morning, man. It's pretty much the best start. That's the best possible start to a day you could have. Everyone watching this has had the best possible start to any day you could ever have, ever. Say about echoey vibes. Right, that's all. I just wanted to say that. Just wanted to check in, make us all appreciate that we woke up this morning. Some people didn't, man. Look at this goose. Wow, what you saying, Goose, mate? You coming to make some gains? Coming to the gym? Let's go, lad. Let's do it. You racing me? You racing me? All right, people. So just checking in with a really quick commentary over some push day footage. So my push workouts have changed a little bit since I did my last push commentary, and that's why I wanted to include this in this video. Uh, as usual, my first exercise is flat dumbbell press. However, second exercise is now OHPs again. So previously, as I mentioned in the commentary in the mini cut video, I was doing seated dumbbell presses for my vertical push. However, I've decided to go back to OHPs just because I fucking love them and I just cannot ignore that fact. Uh, I was doing dumbbells because I have one side a little bit stronger. And so I liked having, you know, each arm work independently doing dumbbells. But I've decided to just throw caution to the wind because I just enjoy OHPs too much and right now enjoying my workouts is a priority over perfectly 
equal physique development because I'm not going to be competing in a bodybuilding or physique show anytime soon so I figure I just do what I fucking love and I do love OHPs so they are back. Alright third up is my second chest exercise and this is tricep dips now so I'm calling this a chest exercise uh, whether you want to call it a chest or a tricep exercise you know whatever but um, I feel like these really do work my chest and I'm doing these weighted and I, I'm abandoning flies for these so I'm gonna have a flat press and a weighted tricep dip as my two chest presses. Third, no fourth is dumbbell lateral raises as usual just nothing to see here just standard raises and uh, no footage of it but I finish up with my tricep isolation which is dumbbell skull crushers. Alright enjoy the rest of the vid peeps out. Alright people, how's it going? So, I'm going to try and say everything that I want to say in this one take. So if it takes a while, then I apologise for the length of the video. I don't actually really, in fact, why am I apologising? I don't apologise for it because this is shit that I want to say. So if you want to listen, I will not be offended. Like legit, genuinely, not just saying that, I won't be offended if you uh, switch off. So the rest of the video is going to be me chatting about just some shit that I've been thinking about and like life and fitness updates basically because I want to keep everyone uh, pretty updated on the goings on enjoy these life so first up I have come to the decision to put a halt on the bulk so I don't know how whether I'll just stop bulking for ever or just for a while and I'll get back on that bulky time um, there's a couple of reasons for that. So the first reason being, I'm finding it really hard to uh, maintain a weight of kind of where I'm at now, like 180s or high 170s. Like I have to eat a fucking lot, and it's not that I have, I have trouble getting the calories in um, at all because you know I have, I have quite an appetite and it's, it's easy for me. But at the same time it means that if I take a couple of days off or like just fall off my diet for a bit and like don't hit my calories or whatever or just don't eat enough I'm, I start dropping weight fast so it's not that I'm near my natty limit but I'm near my natty limit for the level of commitment that I'm willing to put in because you know obviously I could build more muscle and I'm, I'm nowhere near my like natural potential in terms of lean body mass, you know, could obviously be close to that, but but that's not relevant and, and your natty limit is only relevant when it's applied to your circumstances and, and what you're willing to actually put in. And the thing is, I'm just not willing to live like a bodybuilder because it's just not what I want to do. It's just not what, what makes me happy, you know. When I'm at this weight, and I'm so prone to like losing weight and tending back down towards about mid 170s when I just eat intuitively. It means that if I go away, say I make a snap decision to just book a flight and fuck off somewhere, like I don't want to be coming back from that thinking, oh shit, I've lost five pounds, you know, and I've got to spend fucking months getting that getting that muscle back. Because when you, you know, the longer and longer you've been lifting and the more and the closer to your natty limit that you are. You know the harder it is to gain and the, and the easier it is to lose and you know if people want to be bodybuilders and live like a bodybuilder then that's totally fucking fine man like whatever makes you happy but it's not what makes me happy what makes me happy is is not just doing it but having the option at all times and the thought in my head thinking I could book a flight tomorrow and fuck off somewhere and just do weird shit and just you know just go do some abstract shit and I don't have to worry about me fucking gains man and so that's one reason I want to be able to just go and do I want it to be basically I want it to be sustainable you know uh, in my circumstances which are going to be this year fucking getting about man I want to get all over the place and do shit and just see the fucking world like you know and so I don't want to be thinking about like that extra couple of pounds of muscle because you know we'd all fucking like a bigger chest and a fucking 
you know, I'd like to turn up at the expos bigger and leaner than the next guy, you know, the guy next to me, and you know, I want a bigger chest and bigger fucking calves, and I want to be leaner, and you know, but so what? It's just a, it's just a superficial, it's just a surface want. It's just something that I want on the surface. Do you know what I mean? I want a fucking G wagon. I want a Ferrari. I want. Uh, a fucking massive wand, man. But you're just keeping up with the Joneses, and that shit, that shit, might satisfy you for like mere seconds or minutes, but it's not what's gonna make me happy in the long term. And and feeling like I'm in that race of keeping up with the Joneses, you know, that's not not what not what's gonna make me happy either. So that's one reason. Another reason is that I want to get fitter, man. I want to be a fucking athlete, you know. I want to be, I feel like, if people are going to describe me as an athlete, you know, when I talk to companies that I deal with, like bull powders or machine or whatever, they call, they call you one of their athletes, right? And I feel like a fucking fraud being called an athlete, because I'm halfway through a bank and I'm gassing like McGregor v Diaz fight one round two, right? I'm panting like a fucking bulldog, you know, and that's shameful, man. You should, you should always have a level of fitness. If you're going to lift, then you know, whatever, but you should always be fit as a base level, um, you know, and the thing is, over this period of this bulk, I've put on like close to 10 pounds or around 10 pounds, but your fitness has to improve in line with that, otherwise you're just the same guy, you're just the 170 pound guy carrying around a 10 pound backpack with 170 pound guy fitness, do you know what I mean, and so I want to be an athlete, I want to Start doing more cardio. I'm gonna get some gloves start in the bag again. I'm gonna do cardio at least twice or three times a week. I'm gonna stretch at least three or four times a week and do mobility shit. I wanna just be more of an all-rounder. I just don't wanna be one. I feel like recently I've been one-dimensional tunnel vision, lift, 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 make gains, get big, you know. But that's not me, man. That's not me. I wanna be an all-rounder in every aspect, fitness and everything. I've got the same kind of idea of what I want to be like and it's not just a one-dimensional lift of foot you know if that's you know I'm, and I don't want to say anything about other people's goals but it all comes down to whatever makes you happy and I think that um, being what I would consider an athlete um, you know obviously that's got my own definition and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna make me happy so that's what I'm doing, so I'm going back down to uh, about 3,200 calories, which I think is about my maintenance. Like I said, more cardio, more stretching, but I think I'll do a full kind of routine video on what my weekly routine will be now. So I'll be lifting, stretching, and cardio. So I'll do that uh, in a video soon. All right, so aside from that, just a couple of little uh, life kind of updates. So one, I want to start a YouTube series that's, or maybe a series, like a kind of podcasty style series. I'll probably sit here, to be honest, on a Sunday with a cup of coffee and just chat shit for like an hour or something. Um, I feel like I've got a lot of thoughts and shit, and I don't know, maybe I'm just a massive egotistical fuck, egomaniac, is that it? Egomaniac? Yeah. Uh, and I just like the sound of my own voice, but... Whenever I post a QA and a thread, I get a lot of fucking questions, man, and some of them I feel like I could elaborate a lot more on, and so uh, I want to start doing just, like, long-ass, just conversation-style videos where I'll just go deep on a topic, and I'm not saying it'll be, you know, factual shit, it'll just be my opinions and thoughts on it, and if you don't want to watch it, then, again, that's sound, this is all our free will, this is the free YouTube market where we get to decide what we ingest, um, and that determines someone's success or failure on YouTube, so whatever. Um, so for that, I'd like some uh, topic suggestions, so if, like whether it's questions or just topics that you'd like to hear my thoughts on, uh, just comment them down below and I'll pick some good ones or shit that I'd like to talk about. And I'll just do one every Sunday and I don't know, it could be fucking treadmill listening or watching for you or whatever or maybe no one will watch it generally no one does watch that kind of shit but i don't i don't give a fuck man because i like talking all right aside from that last thing is travel plans for 2017 so i mentioned earlier i want to get about and literally i'm on skyscanner every day checking flights and 
what, yeah, wanking off, man. Looking at Flights. looking at Ryan at Price, just thinking, fuck me, I'm gonna go everywhere. Um, so I've got Budapest booked in January. Jan or Feb, I'm gonna go to LA and see Yaros the boy, the fat Spaniard. So I'm thinking about tying in a San Diego with uh, with LA. So if you're in LA or San Diego, give me a shout uh, and maybe I'll tie in some kind of like meet up or even if it's just one of you, I'll give a fuck, you know, I'll meet anyone. Um, give me a shout. Also, if you have suggestions of where to go, I also wanna get to Dubai, I think kind of March. Uh, and aside from that, I'm open, I'm open to suggestions. I wanna do a holiday at least every two months, um, but I'm open to more money permitting. So, see how January goes, eh? <laughs> Everyone eat loads of fucking Selection boxes, so you all need to get shredded January and hit me up. <laughs> Alright, so give me your suggestions on where you want to see vlogs coming from, because I'm going to be getting, a, getting about one. I want to make 2017 the best motherfucking year ever. And i got the fucking hunger for it now, man. You know, you get to like New Year and you think, yeah, New Year's resolutions, yeah. And it's just a fucking, it's just a, um, um, it's just a brain wank, innit? It's just that you think about the year and just fucking have mental you know, thoughtgasms, man. When you think about all the shit you're gonna do and start planning, but I've got that fucking bug early on. I wanna set up the sickest motherfucking 2017 ever. Obviously, it'll be the only 2017 ever, but I wanna set up the sickest year ever. Sick so, I'm ready, man. Let's fucking do it. Peace out, people. Have a fucking great day. Jordy Lenny is my hero.